Hi, this is Mary from Homegrown Learners, and a special thanks to my daughter Anna for filming this vlog, my first one ever today. I've had so many questions about how we use the story of the world that I wanted to address all of these questions. I'll show you how we use the story of the world. Maybe it will be helpful to you. What I like is that I can use this with both of my children. I have a fifth grader and a first grader. It has been perfect. I can tailor it up or down depending on what they need. I also like that I can still pursue our interest-led learning. If we have something in history that we want to stop on, we do. This curriculum is very, very flexible. The first thing that I do is I buy the Story of the World book. I was lucky to find this one used. This has every story that you will need to go through with your children. I believe there are 40 chapters in this book, 42 chapters actually. Then I buy the activity guide. The activity guide is normally a regular bound book. I unbind it, three hole punch it, and put it in a notebook for myself. I can resell it this way, and then I can also remove activity pages out and copy them for my children. You are permitted to photocopy for your homeschool. Once I have my binder ready to go and the storybook, then I create my children's binders. This is a binder that we're currently working on for the Middle Ages. This is my son's binder. So with every chapter that he has, there is a coloring page. There is a mapping page. And there may just be supplemental things that I print for my children to do along the way. So I read the chapter. I encourage my children to take notes. And by that I mean they can draw, they can write words that they remember. Um, while we were reading about Charlemagne, my son decided he wanted to draw Charlemagne's family tree. So there's lots of different options. Sometimes they will build Legos as long as they're busy and focusing on what we're doing. So we read, they narrate to me, sometimes written, sometimes just verbal, depends on the day. We do our map work. And sometimes I will also print out lap book elements. This is from Homeschool Share. It's a little um, mini book about the Black Death. So I added this into the activity page about the plague. Here's the plague doctor. An example of a narration at this age was a sheet. I printed this out from notebookingpages.com. Joan of Arc. A very simple narration because my son is seven. So that's what his notebook looks like. My daughter's notebook is a little more sophisticated because she is older. Oh goodness, and I just noticed, here's another lovely thing. This was my son's mask. This is a Viking mask. Isn't that cute? This was from the activity guide. This is my daughter's notebook. She also takes notes. She does all of the mapping activities as well. And her narrations are slightly longer because like I said, she's older. Let's see if I can find one of her more recent narrations. Here's her Joan of Arc narration. Like I said, I don't always require a written narration, but I feel as if it is a good skill for the children to have. I always make sure to stay a few lessons ahead of my children. I look in the activity pages and I reserve books from the library. I look and see if there are gonna be recipes or crafts that we will make. I love all the suggestions they use. Another thing that I feel is very valuable in the story of the world are the book lists that they offer. Most of our read-alouds come from suggestions in the story of the world. Just a couple examples that I have for you of books that we have delved into this year were Robin Hood. We spent several weeks with this book. And 
Son of Charlemagne, which was another very interesting book. But for each chapter, there are several read aloud suggestions, and I always reserve these from the library or purchase them for our own home library. This has been invaluable to me. The very last aspect of the story of the world is the timeline. I choose to use the Book of Time from Sunlight, and I also purchase Sunlight's timeline figures. And let me find a good page for you in here. Here's some timeline of the Dark Ages and Muhammad. So we add as we go along. And now that we're approaching the end of the year, I found that we're going way back and looking to see how everything has progressed. Here's what the timeline figures look like. Again, I purchased these from Sunlight. They're stickers. The kids color them in and put them in their book of time. I hope this has given you a good idea of what we do with the story of the world. Make sure that you have lots of colored pencils, glue sticks, scissors, scrapbooking paper, your computer, all those things handy so your children can just delve into history and they can create notebooks that are keepsakes for years to come. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment or just email me. I'm happy to talk to you about this. Thanks. Bye.